Welcome back to my channel. I'm Aki, a minimalist who is a school teacher in a small village in Japan. I've gotten rid of a lot of things in the process of becoming a minimalist. So today I'm going to introduce nine things that made me feel better after letting them go. Okay, let's get started. First, contact lenses and glasses. These are the best thing that I've got rid of ever in my life. I used to love video games. I played Pokemon, Smash Bros, and Mario Kart a lot. Around the sixth grade, my eyesight started to get worse, and I started wearing glasses and contacts. I'd been wearing that constantly until 2018. However, I decided to have LASIK eye surgery before traveling the world on my bumble bike. The reason that I thought it'd be great to stop paying for contacts every month and get rid of the hassle of putting them in every morning. Also, I wanted to reduce the amount of things and lighten the belongings I had with me as much as possible. So I decided to have LASIK. I was so scared to have the surgery actually. During the surgery, my vision was blurry, exactly like this. Can you see it? Post surgery, everything still looked white and blurry, and I was worried if it was really okay. But when I woke up the next morning, I was able to see everything clearly like this. I was so impressed, and as a result, my vision became 2020. I didn't need to buy contacts every month anymore. On top of that, I didn't need to wear and wash it every day. I didn't even need glasses. Thinking about that made me so happy. It said that LASIK has some side effects, but I've never felt any. Second, yoga mat. I used to use a yoga mat for stretching and working out. However, around August of this year, I started to think actually I didn't need a yoga mat. The reason was that I thought the tatami floor was more convenient to use. Than the yoga mat. For example, sami yoga mats don't have enough cushioning. Mine, for example, hurt my knee. However, tatami mats are softer than many types of yoga mats, so it can be more comfortable to do stretches on. Also, it's large enough to spread your legs out on. If I spread my legs on the yoga mat, my feet would go over the edge. Moreover, I love this scent of tatami mats. It's very relaxing. Of course, yoga mats have an advantage of being less slippery, but I thought tatami mats were efficient to use when it comes to my lifestyle, so I gave that up. Third, phone apps. There are many temptations on our smartphones, such as Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Of course, YouTube too. Don't you ever feel yourself scrolling through an app and turns into multiple hours before you know it? Same here. So one day I was wondering how much time I was on my phone and looked it up. Then I was shocked to find out that I was on my phone for an average of three hours a day. Three hours. So now I'm practicing digital minimalism. I only kept the apps I really needed and deleted most of the rest. I thought that if I could use the time I spent on my smartphone, my life would be more fulfilling and productive. The effect was enormous. I have more time to study English, read books, work, and create my own YouTube videos. I can now focus on my life, not other people's life through a phone. I really recommend you to try optimizing your time by trying this. Although, I'd be a little sad if you delete the YouTube app and forget about me. But if you think that has a better effect on your life, I'm sure it'll change your life for the better. Fourth, bed. As I said in my previous videos, I don't have a normal bed. The reason is that not only does a bed take up a lot of space in the room, but it's also a hassle to move around. So I use a Gokumin folding mattress instead. This type of mattress doesn't take up much space. Plus, it's easy to get away, so you'll be able to take advantage of the empty space. Even when you move, you can easily carry the mattress. Some people may feel uncomfortable sleeping on the floor, 
but I think you'll get used to it after a while. Especially if you want to be a minimalist, I recommend sleeping on a mattress or futon instead of a bed. Fifth, bath towel. This is also what I often have said in past videos. I don't really need bath towels. For some reasons, bath towels take up space and are really bulky. Also, it becomes heavy when you wash it too, right? So I usually use Tenugui or my favorite brand, Moku, as a towel. Tenugui is a traditional Japanese towel, and a Moku towel is a combined fabric of a towel and Tenugui. They are compact, so this is enough space for them here. Also, you can wipe down and dry your body without any problem. Moreover, it's very convenient when you travel. So please try using one if you get the chance. Sixth, shampoo. It's been three years since I stopped using shampoo. The first reason I gave up shampoo was because I thought shampoo was a heavy item to carry when I traveled on the bamboo bike. I didn't really use it during that time, then I thought it was no problem to go without it. Honestly though, when my hair was really long, my hair felt a little oily after washing it with only water, but other than that, it was perfectly fine. Plus, it said that buying shampoo adds up to about 10,000 yen to 20,000 yen per year. So it's nice that it saves you money as well. Seventh, water. I'm not saying that I stopped drinking water. I stopped buying bottle of water. I used to drink bottled water every day, but I realized it's so expensive. It said that people drink about 2 liters of water a day. A 2 liter plastic bottle costs about 100 yen. It will cost you about 30,000 yen, $300 a year. It's really multi nai. Also, I thought that such a large amount of plastic bottle waste was not eco-friendly. So I started to only drink tap water some years ago. When I drink tap water, I filter it as much as possible to remove harsh chemicals. Tap water is great because it's a lot cheaper than bottled water. However, nowadays, I started drinking spring water. About once every two weeks or so, I go to pick water from the spring with my friends. It's free, fresh, and delicious. This is one of the great benefits about living in the countryside in Japan. I really appreciate it. Anyway, we use glass bottles of sake, so it looks like we are alcoholics. But it's not what it looks like. Eighth, TV. I got rid of TV when I was in university. The first reason was that I don't want to watch Japanese news. The news in Japan is really negative. For example, how many people died in a car accident? A celebrity apologizing for cheating? Corruption of politicians? I thought to myself, I don't care about that stuff. I don't want to feel down by watching such unpleasant news every day. So I threw it away. Having no TV gave me a lot of more meaningful time, also space in the room. However, I think there are some people who want to watch some TV programs sometimes. I understand. Me too. During that time, I was watching things on my computer. Nowadays, most TV programs can be watched through the internet. So a computer is enough for me. Ninth, laundry detergent. I don't use laundry detergent because I found a better way to wash laundry. The amount of detergent you use depends on the person, but I calculated that I spend about $80 a year on laundry detergent. It's not that expensive, but I wanted to save some money. Then I found a way of using magnesium in my laundry routine. When you put magnesium into water, it makes water alkaline and removes dirt. Also, magnesium can be used semi-permanently. Of course, magnesium oxidizes like this when you keep using it. However, if you put it in citric acid water, it will regain its function. It helps you save money, reduce the process of putting detergent, and is eco-friendly too. Honestly, even though it's not as strong as some other detergent, I think it's enough for me. By the way, I use homemade fabric softener as well. Here is a recipe. 
The reason for using citric acid is not only to soften clothes, but make the clothes floral and prevent the oxidation of magnesium. I've been washing my clothes this way for about 3 years, with no problems at all. Well, in this video, I talked about 9 things that I let go of that helped me become happier. What do you think about it? I hope that you found at least one thing that will be helpful to you. Okay, so stay safe, have fun, and thank you for watching. As usual, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!